<laughs> plus, right? yeah, yeah. But this is really good. So let's call the yeah. meeting to order by 503. Um, Looks like you might need a secretary. Yeah. I, thank you. I mean, I, I can't even read what I, I can't read what I wrote. I wrote three words. I'm not even sure what that means. Uh, not my purview. Um, anyway, um, so thank you all for being here. Appreciate that. Uh, and I, as I was saying before, I appreciate you guys covering the meeting last month. I know that was a little bit, a little sticky, but it all worked out. And it um, sounds like it was a very productive meeting too. Um, so do you guys want to go over the minutes? Approve the minutes? Um, yeah, as long as the, just the correction on the aim made it right. in the final draft, that's... Uh, uh, sure will. I can't vote because I wasn't here. So. I, uh, right. right. Uh, do you want me to find them? Yeah, I'm trying to think if they... Uh, I did send them. Pretty yeah, you, right? you did. Oh, they're from you, so. Yeah. Uh, December 7th. On the proper. Hey, here, I got it. Form. Uh, who was it that I misspelled? Uh, it was, uh, you put down John Moyne, his name is Jim Moyne. And you were so right. Uh, right, right, right. I know it. Jim Moyne. Yep. I fixed it. I think I use a few more words than Tim does. <laughs> no, okay. That's I'll try to be more succinct. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's what it is. Yeah. So I, I, more sometimes more words is, is good. Um, People enjoy context. You know, yeah, so sometimes a little context. Not, yeah, it's not a bad thing to put more detail in, especially if they're being posted to the public. Yeah, I it, agree. It is posted. Yeah, posted. yeah, and people people do want to go back and see what the heck we talked about. Yeah. Especially with the library, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a big deal in town. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Um. 2024. <sighs> right. Yeah, no, it definitely was a was a big meeting for that particular topic, which was inevitable that it would be coming back around. Um, you know, and, I, and I, I'm excited to hear, I mean, I, you know, to hear to hear what they what they want to do. And I always I always felt that they would be a good steward for, for, the, for the building because they got money, you know? And, and, you know, in some buildings in town, people buy them and then they just, they, they don't do they just it a, a better way, so. Uh, can I move to accept the minutes? Can I go to that? Okay. Because <laughs> then we can may, may, go into discussion after that. <laughs> uh, no more discussion. Yeah. All in favor of approving the minutes as standing. Okay. So that's you guys. Okay, great. Doug and I abstain. Yeah. Oh, two abstain. Yeah. Good to see you back here, Doug. Yeah. Got a lot of family stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's where I was saying that that's where I was last month doing family stuff in Rhode Island. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, just continuing looking at that stuff. So, yeah, so then the Peter Miller Award finally yeah. got done. And you guys, I'm sure, saw that in the paper. Yeah. Which was nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, and that's very, I think, a very worthy um, recipient of that. So, it, again, it doesn't have to be an annual thing. I think we're right. a little bit backfilling from years. Yeah. Those guys have done a ton of stuff around town. Um, so that was an easy choice, I think. But, you know, we'll always be looking for whatever's happening. Um, and you guys want anything else from 
from last month's meeting that you need to catch me up on or pretty much was well didn't get past town council mm. did you hear that no is that supposed to happen last night or whenever they met the other night Tuesday. Well, now I don't have no. Time that was an that's an official organizational meeting. Okay. Yeah. that has to happen the first uh, what a Tuesday of of the month, so that they can um, do uh, get their ducks in order and put people in positions and that that kind of stuff. But right. the official meeting will be uh, the same uh, three third third Wednesday Wednesday of the month. Might not be a bad thing to, uh, if we're supportive of this project and the ownership, to express that mm -hmm. to the new counselors and people. Yeah, well, that's a good point. And they, they probably don't know anything about it. Right. At the very least. Yeah. The issue that made it tabled for last month was mm -hmm. the seven parking spaces. That the owner requested, yeah, that the buyer is requesting. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, the discussion centered, well, there wasn't a discussion, it was tabled because there was some question of whether MBLC would fine the town if the library lost seven spaces. There was some question about what legal means it should be conveyed to the, to the bank because it isn't on library land those seven spaces aren't on the library land they're on the i mean they're on the, not on the old library land they're on the new library land that was all figured out yeah. to approve the well, application way way back so it was enough of a question that folks for and against uh said it should be tabled for more information Who's going to provide I think that's this. reasonable to me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I must say that I thought it seemed, you know, I mean, it's a public parking lot, right? On public land. So giving spots to a private landowner doesn't, yeah. it kind of, you can see why people would be like, huh? It's um, a, right. Why it would raise a question. So I don't yeah. know who These were the figures that out. That we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, you know, no, I mean, there were, there, it was the seven spaces right behind the library that would connect to their rear entrance. Yeah, I thought they were saying that they needed more accessible parking spaces. Yes. I think accessible yeah, meaning, like, closer. Not oh, in the yes. Oh, well, it, gotcha. it, is that right? Is that, I think that I'm... I think you meant both. Yes, a little of both. Yeah. I've had this conversation uh, at the... Uh, uh, the other meeting that I, the, uh, or the other meeting that I'm on is the uh, mm. disability committee. So we're talking about uh, handicap spaces. Right. And, and in particular with the library, mm. just uh, where they're going to end up. Because we haven't, we haven't, got, we haven't gotten a lot of information uh, as well, uh, but know that stuff is coming down the line. Uh, on that committee, we want to we want to keep or disperse more handicapped spots that are that are on uh, public land, so that uh, mm. uh, it doesn't end up. You know, it, it's a better usage of the of those spaces than there is now, because people are always complaining that there's not enough complaint, uh, not enough. Uh, Handicapped place. Yeah, so the um, so the ones that are across from the side entrance to the library, there's what four? Mm, is that right? I think three. What? There's handicapped spaces across from the side entrance to the library. Yeah, uh, currently there's four. I, I'm guessing okay. anyway. So so these ones would be like a, kind of around the corner there, mm. facing the back of the old library. Mm. Would those even qualify for handicapped spaces because they're like too far away, mm -hmm. or is there is there is it just as? Well, they'd be handicapped for the bank because there'd be a, a walkway yeah. right there, of 
accessible walkway to the back entry that'll have an elevator to take people up to the mm -hmm. ground floor. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first floor. So the, oh, they would be only handicap spaces? No, I don't know <laughs> how the numbers would work. I don't know. I mean, it's it's really outside of our, our right. thing. Right, it was absolutely. Is it the parking, parking? It's not ours. Yeah. So I, I stay out of it, but yeah, it is. I, I mean, I think, like you say, Dave, it's a little like, well, we're going to take these and then do that. Like, I can well, see why they tabled the it. The parking was such a big deal with qualifying for the library funding. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so they needed more information. And I just think it would be good for us to support it publicly, to support the transfer to the bank and maybe speak to John Bottomley, you know, the new president of the, of the council. Mm. Or I'd be willing to, I don't know who should. I probably shouldn't because I work for the study. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I, I know John, you know, um, but uh, I mean, I wish I knew more about it, really, to talk about it. But it'd be good to at least hear what he thinks about it. Right. I mean, get in thinking about it. There were some people that thought, oh, there aren't enough parking spaces downtown and that those spaces are full all the time. So why are you, how can you take away public spaces to give it to private use? Yeah. As you said, David. Yeah. So on the other hand, who else? There was only one submittal. For the old bank, you know. Oh old yeah, building. yeah. No, it's, and, and I mean the other hand is that everybody parks in the Greenfield Saving Bank bank yeah, parking lot and right. goes to the park right. and goes to like right. the hangar. Just yeah. saying, yeah. everybody yeah. does that. We yeah. all know that everybody, including myself. So yeah, um, hopefully after hours, mostly. <laughs> mostly after hours. <laughs> no, sometimes yeah. I go in and you know, you know but um, but nevertheless, they they've been pretty very lenient about making that parking area uh, you know accessible to like neighbors. right yeah there, there was a time where they used to have somebody that would sit there and check you to huh. see if you were doing bank but oh yeah oh. they used to check like, people like for other their, banks too yeah. for bank business yeah. that's correct yeah. and they were like sorry nope can't park here this is this is for bank business only yeah. and they don't do that anymore they've done that in years like the why they check membership. Do they, they if you park well, back? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a guy or and, you know, a, a person who stands there uh, uh, all year uh, mm. and basically uh, checks to see if you have a little placard in the, on your uh, windshield Yeah. Uh, to see if you remember. Yeah, well, you know, so it makes sense. I, I see both sides of it, I guess. Um, but I, I, mean, I could talk to John about it. Well, hopefully the whole thing isn't contingent on these parking spaces. Yeah. That would seem a shame. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't think so, but, but I don't know. Right. Yeah, they were talking about taking out that tree in the yard, too, to try and expand it and make parking spaces if they had to, I think. Uh, to make a, a ramp and use the front. Say, yeah, I remember something about it. I was, I was remembering something about a tree, but... I think at the end of the day, like, we, you know, just maybe stress to the city council, like, you know, just try to try to work with the bank somehow to, you know, make it, make it so it's not a pain for them to buy this building, you know, we don't want them to, you know, kind of get perturbed from, from buying it because we, you know, you know, just we want to be difficult due to, you know, whatever state laws and legalities and the whole <laughs> complex system, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, when they take down the, when they take down the bookmobile, would that, I guess that would be part of it. That just be. Yes, that that's where another accessible space would go. Okay, but doesn't so doesn't the um, the handicapped spaces that are already there like abut that? Yes. So yes. then, so that would have to reconfigure that whole that kind of whole thing, then, would it? Well, I think they could seat, add one. Come in and do the like, you come in as like two. an L. Yeah. And then the spaces would be on the other side of that. Which did they shift? Did they do drawings? What are they doing? You know, I'm looking for the site plan drawing and I'm not finding it. So uh, they showed it to us. Let's, let's 
don't think they gave us digital no, numbers, they though. Gave us, okay. Yeah, I mean, because I am curious, like, no, so how, does, how would that work? Those well, spots are that, already there. That potentially you could trade those accessible new spaces for some of the spaces. Because that would be on their land. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you could make a trade for some spaces near the elevator. But I, I mean, I think the point is that, you know, right, let's try to make this thing work out. Yeah. It, it can be insurmountable. Um, and I wonder who's negotiating. Because now there's a new mayor. So. Yeah. yeah. It was all done. Yeah, over or the old mayor. Tuesday, yeah. And we yeah. didn't want that to prejudice. But the good thing is uh, the new mayor was on the Committee for Disabilities. Uh, so she huh. is. Right. Uh, she gets it. She gets it. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, and, and John Bottom has been around for a while. He's been paying attention. Uh, you, you know, he yeah. seems like a reasonable guy. Sure. Yeah, he is. He is. So. Uh, okay. He's also on the tree committee. And He's also on the tree committee. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the tree professor tree of the tuba as well. Um, anyway, I think a lot of people would be more upset about the tree. People do like these big significant trees, you know, especially where it's, it's so iconic as the library, the old library. People would be upset if that tree got taken down. And, well, they took and the other we one actually down already. Have, we have purview over that tree in the, in the, uh, um, the preservation easement that's attached to the bee. It does, it, well, that's what I put in that answer. To the bank. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Major landscape elements are. That would be it. Are included. And that's, amazing. that's about the only <laughs> really major one. Anyway. Anyway, well, yeah. we, there a little research. So the next the next meeting is when? The, this, the third Wednesday? Yeah. So it's kind of coming up a couple weeks. And Dan Glenn was involved in talking about it, but he's not on the council. No, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, any, anything else from last month? That well, I was going to ask to put the survey and planning grant yep. <laughs> to yeah. do an update. Well, here's the update. Nothing. <laughs> okay. I, well, I was, I was gonna put it on there, and then because it was on there, like yeah, kind of like right. it's been, like it should be. You know, we should have something to report, shouldn't we, David? Yeah. The holidays know. just like blew away everything. For they a do that. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, maybe tomorrow we'll know when the review of the phase one report will happen next week sometime, and then things will get moving we'll again. And anybody who wants to read the phase one report, uh, did I say I would send it out? We did talk about that. Yeah. So I should talk. I should send it out. Yeah, I guess you should. Okay, I will. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Is that it from that then? Yep. Um, Quick. Dave, anything on the CPC? Yeah, uh, I mean, we're just starting to have meetings where the people who had the pre-approval to move forward to the full applications, we're having a series of meetings with, with the, and each meeting has a few applicants to come and talk about their full proposal. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of reviewing them in these batches. Yeah. And that, I think that will extend through February into March. Um, there are a couple in there that are um, primarily under the historical category. And, you know, I feel like um, at some point, I'm not prepared to do it today, but I could, I could bring them forward here since I'm really kind of representing this group there. Mm -hmm. um, and we could talk about them. I mean, the situation is something like, you know, there's three hundred thousand dollars or fewer to give out, and um, you know, the applicant, you know, several applicants have asked for more than that amount. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's well, that's kind of what this, happened last time too. Yeah, which is like, fine, um, but um, so we'll have to. 
I guess the applicants are supposed to talk about how they would manage partial funding, you know, if they're interested in, yeah. if they couldn't do the work unless they got the full amount that they request, or if they could do yeah, if they have alternate pieces of it with partial, partial funding. Um, so yeah, okay. that's, it would um, be good to, it would be good to hear what's coming down the pipe. The next one that we're hearing about is sometime I don't know, in the next two weeks, I can't remember when the next one is, next week or the week after. Yeah. And that will include one of the history applications, um, which is from the city clerk. And this is Ooh. about the books. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, came, they came here. They came to us. She came to us. Binding and rebinding. All this yeah, they stuff. did a very nice presentation and we were, we were like, I think impressed and amazed and astonished that there was all this stuff out there and that they've just been keeping it like in the safe. Basically. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, it'll be, I, I'm looking forward to reviewing that application. But how much did he ask, they ask for? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. It wasn't huge. It wasn't huge. It was like 5,000, I think? No, yeah, it was more than that. Was it? It was a lot more than that. Oh. Yeah. Well, there, I, I seem to remember that there were different aspects to it. There was like yeah. different levels. Remember, we thought there was like they could just do this, and then there's, there's right because finding some of those single books could cost about hundred thousand dollars easy. Yeah, you know, and it's kind of this. Yeah, it's a tricky thing. I mean, like, so they by law have to keep those mm -hmm. and the originals. Yeah. Um, but it seems kind of crazy to, you know, to spend all that money on. Um, I wish there was another way to do it. it was, that we preserve them cheaply and make them accessible. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'd be interested to ask them, you know, if they have thought of digitizing them as part of the re. Um, preservation yeah. process, right. you know, because if you're going to have the bindings off, that's a, you know, safer time to do digitization. And it's your opportunity. To do. Yeah, and you mm -hmm. can also, if you're going to have, you know, a, um, digital copies for access, then you could maybe yeah. re rehouse the materials in boxes rather than binding. So. Right. Unfortunately for them, I'm going to be at that review, you know, from yeah, working no, in a museum, you know, uh, like, um, I'll have a, some questions, but it seems like something that has to happen. Something has to happen with those materials. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that presentation. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I can, how about the next time we meet, I will, I'll bring some of the materials and we can, I can give you a heads up about yeah. what's coming. Great. Because it's kind of a dynamic set because some people are, some people have withdrawn their applications. And, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I think there was one concerning, there was one that was under the historical category that was for doing some work in one of the cemeteries in town. Yeah. And that application was withdrawn. Oh. Huh. Uh, um, demo, demolition. Um, I got one today two hours ago for 86 to 88 Conway Street, uh, demolition permit for the front porch. So, <laughs> I'm just, you know, and it's, I, I don't have any problem with that. It's fine, you know, I, it doesn't bug me or anything really. Uh, but obviously that's probably not. Weird. How old is it? I have no idea. I mean, I just got it. Um, we can look it up, but it, it can't be too old and it's, you know, front porch. Yeah. Yeah, we were going to try to get uh, Mark to. We were, because we talked about it, and Vicki Baker implied that he would be, if he's amenable to come, but he did kind of want to get a little bit of a heads up. And then I kind of was pushing him. This was a couple months ago now, I think. And then, yeah, so now that I'm re revisiting this, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, we should get back on that. 
but I don't, you know, I kind of put it to you and Tim a little bit like, what do you want me to ask her to ask him to be prepared to talk to? Did you have anything? I don't want to, I don't want to blindside him. Feel right. Like, you know, I don't want to be like that. I mean, that, that would be one issue. Could you filter the applications that get forwarded, the demo applications by whether they're included in a, in a historic survey or not? Yeah. I mean, it's, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't want to bother enough with that. That's I mean, it seems step or something. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I hate to. It's easy for me to be like, yeah, we're all set. I drove by. Yeah. And it's like okay. yeah, you know, like okay, you know, <laughs> and or there have been a couple of occasions where I've been like, oh, and I've like reached out to you guys and we did a site visit and we kind of did a little bit more finding out about it, but. Um, you know, and I think it's fine. I mean, and, and I wish in retrospect that there were some places that got demolished that I wish I had seen earlier. Seen earlier yeah, before because you don't get it. When do they plan to demolish this porch? Exactly. And I mean, and sometimes sometimes it's like the backhoe's there or they've really yeah. ripped into it. Yeah, so that and, is and worth talking to them about. I mean, Maybe so that's just say talk about the workflow. Yeah. For these yeah. demolition permits. House was built in 1905. Thank you. Oh, very good. Zilla? Or Colville yeah. Digger? <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Yeah. Uh, 1905. Well, it's over so, 50 years old. Eight, so, 80, so that's got to be like right here. Well, it's got to be like. There's a picture of it. It's got to be. Oh, yeah, great. Is it the one that looks really rough? Uh, I don't know. Really, is a strong enough descriptor for that? Okay, uh, it's yeah. that one. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think, Marco? How does the root, how does the porch look to you? Doesn't look as tall. It looks like four by. Four. Oh yeah, I, yeah. It's really <laughs> nice it's that house now. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I don't know if you can see all the way down there. Yeah, he's a good word for it. Just, that's on the corner, right? Uh, of, uh, on Devon's or or, or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Devon Street. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. cross over there. Yeah, also. 86, yeah that's 88, been, uh, 88. I was going to say, for, for a while, it looks like someone's been like right. picking away at trying to fix it all. It looks like they have replacing windows in there, but I, don't, I think there's like no, there's no parking. Like the ha like the house takes up the whole lot. So right. I think that's kind of what has really prevented anyone from yeah. investing money in there. It looks like, yeah, it looks, it looks like it's sold in 2023. Yeah, like I, think that, I think it looks different since that picture. Yeah, well, one of 12. And at one time they were gun ho about, uh, you know, doing the restoration of it, and then they stopped yeah, for some reason. Right. For like six months or so. Yes. Or longer. That's the place. And, uh, and then now they started again. Uh, it sounds not like they as fast as they were, but they're, it they're back. It sounds like they hit a roadblock and now they're going mm -hmm. through all these like, channels. Like running right out of cash in the checkbook. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be. But the, the other one that I was thinking about, it's There's not... a few like that. They're doing restoration on uh, a, a house that's uh, uh, built by the house, uh, by the people who built the house that I live in. Mm. And he also, he built the, all three of those brick houses. Yeah, right. And uh, Prey uh, uh, Brickyard. Yeah, right. And uh, so our my house was first and the house next to me was second and the other one uh the last one uh was uh, robert prey and he was very active in the town uh yeah, during during the war uh he sat on the uh, draft committee and uh, there uh that house got sold but it, it didn't nobody did anything for uh, at least about a year and now they're uh, they're revamping it on the, I think on the second floor. I'm not sure what they're doing. It's, my wife has been in the house and she says it's really a tiny house and tiny rooms because uh, it was built around 1940. Um, no. And uh, I don't know what time, uh, what time period the, uh, the second one came in, but the uh, he built one for his son and one for his grandson. And uh, 
they're, they're doing something on the second floor because, and very strangely too, because they got a trailer backed up to the, as close to the house as you can. Uh, so so take a demo. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, are they back in that, are they uh, hiding that trailer so the inspectors can't see what they're doing? Because they, well, they're certainly loud enough. So they, you know, any, any inspector driving down Well Street can, can hear uh, the tools that they're using and, and, mm. that they're, and the slamming of hammers and things of that nature. I think on the second floor, I'm not sure if they're building some, uh, a small apartment up on the second floor, which my wife says it is nearly impossible because of room sizes. Mm. Um, but they're, they're doing, they've been at it for uh, about uh, two months now. Yeah, I've noticed them really, really working away at it. I mean, and, you know, my, my thoughts on it, I don't know, I'm glad they're doing something with it instead of letting it fall on the ground. Yes. Like a lot of places, you know, it's kind of like, that's kind of like over? my thought about what? it. Did we miss it? Which? No, I know we got two back to back, but are they both happening in this room? Uh, what meeting are you here for? For the historical commission. Historical commission at five to six and six yeah. to seven is the planning board meeting. Yeah, that would probably be in the big room. Oh, okay. But, uh, so Hi, Doc. I'm glad to see you doing well. well don't interrupt him. Sorry. Anyway, no, it's fine. Um, anyway, so that's all we got with that. Um, yeah. And they live on Conway yes. Street, though. They live on Conway Street, so they know a little Chapman. bit. Chapman. Yeah. Uh, so we talked about a house that was on the, on the corner of Devons and Conway, in that house that they're working on. Yep. Um, you know, so, you know, anyway, we're talking you, about that. Anyway, so back to what we we're talking about. Um, yeah. If we have, if let me put it to you guys this way: if you have any items that you want me to pass along to the building inspector that you want him to talk about, I, I mean, I will, I will try to make it happen for next month. Is the best I can. I mean, he is a busy dude, whatever. So, yeah. yeah. But um, sounded like it's definitely a thing, and I think. We don't necessarily have to have a like a real agenda. We can just kind of talk because I think when well, we talk I mean, about it, it, it is an of, issue that's going to be huge well, very shortly. Well, yes, so, I hope so. Um, the uh, historic building next to the Y. Right. Well, they're, right. They're, we don't want to hear the day before that they're going to tear it down. Right. Or you got the armory. Yeah. Or, or other, pro I mean, yeah. part of the reason that we're on this list, even though it seems trivial that I'm going to look at a porch, is that we get a heads up. We get a heads up. Um, and that's really the main thing. And we had never, we were never getting that before. We weren't on, there is a, there's a checklist and we're on the checklist. So that's but why we're we, last on the checklist. We are right. last, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, as long as we're out. Right. Right. Um, and, and, and. To be fair, you know, yes, sometimes people will have already done the work. And I, I, I go over there and they're like, it's already gone. Yeah. There's just a slab. And that's happened more than once. Yeah. You know, and, and that's just people, you know, it's like if it's a garage that's already falling down or whatever, people are, I I understand why people are just like, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. But nevertheless, you are supposed to do your process. I think the wind may take my barn, but. So anyway, um, I will try to make that up. Where did all my spare cats go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys have anything else? Uh, no, really. No. No. It's pretty okay. quiet. That's good, Dave. No. All right. Yeah. So you'll report for. I'm on the CPC side. We're gonna pull things. We'll do a little looking at. And I'll report on the survey. We'll definitely have more. Yeah. Okay. Give me the ground. Uh, I entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Or second. <laughs> Seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. So moved. Uh, meeting is adjourned at 5 37.